Page 16, Johnson Rag. A bit of a ragtime style piece with a bit of a swing added to it. It's kind of a combination of both. Could be fun. Uh, swing meaning we're going to play the eighth notes uneven. Ba -dee -da, -dee -da, -dee -da, -dee da Something like that. Going to start with the right hand. Right at the beginning. You see that fingering? 1 4 to 1 5. Slide the thumb. So we connect it because there's no pedal in this. The fingers do it all. You have to time your thumb just right so the notes go down at the same time. That can take a little practice. In the second line, the first measure, it's the last note of the first measure going into the second measure. In the right hand you have here to here. In the last measure of the second line, there on page 16 for the right hand, it's we need the index finger on the F sharp because we need the thumb on the F natural. The bottom of page 16, first ending, again in the right hand, you have thumb and fourth finger on the D flat, B flat, and then you're coming down. Your thumb's busy. For the two eighth notes, you want to connect them in the upper. Connect those. You can't connect the thumb, but we're listening for the upper notes anyway. Second ending is the same thing. In page 17, and at the top of the page is starting with a 1-3, right? Because it's an F natural here. There's an F sharp in the key signature, so all Fs are sharp, but they have a natural sign there, so it's an F natural. Then when you get to the second line, second measure, you go up one. Oh boy. Then, third line, look at that carefully, those eighth notes. Okay, you end up with the third finger on the C, and then you're going to go in, put the thumb on the G sharp, and immediately your third finger is going to play the B. Just be aware that it just played the C. Okay, so the. F okay, if the rhythm is a problem. Where can we go? Let's take a look at page 17, third line down. In the right hand, you have that. If you're struggling with the rhythm, I suggest first play the eighth notes even, get them, and take out the ties. So play every note. Just pretend there's no ties. So I'm playing both C's, I just remove the tie. So, and when you can get that, then put, put the ties back in. And when you can get all that, then put the swing back in. And so, and you work out these rhythms that are bothering you that way. Page 17, last line, in the right hand, again, with the rhythm. If the rhythm is bothering you, first take out the ties, we'll slow it way down, take out the ties and play the eighth notes evenly. When you get it, then put the ties back in. I was rocking my wrist on the eighth notes just to keep help me keep at it. So you work it out real slow, all right? Then once you have it, you can put the swing back in. In the left hand, you see the note there at the beginning on page 16, staccato. So we're going to play these short. You're also going to start out with your third finger. Now there is a slur there. Occasionally you get those slurs in here, so when that is, of course, it's not staccato. The F sharp to the G there on the last two measures. Okay. You get that elsewhere too. There's a two note slur. You got to connect those two notes together. Otherwise, the left hand is all staccato until you get to 
the dotted half note over on page 17 third line down second measure that's not staccato okay hold that out a full three counts lift up on count four and then you're back to staccato again at the very end on page 17 at the very bottom your left hand is two on the E flat one on the here and then the last note go down and get the low G at the top of page 17 there's a thing at the top a note there or indication instructions with a bounce so what they're telling you is you want a bouncy feel to this which means you're not going to hold those out legato you're not going to play a you can bounce them means you're going to separate the notes it's not staccato it's separated or sort of it could be staccato i guess okay something along that feel now when you get to the second line on page 17 hold the half note out two counts and lift up on beat three and the left hand that slurred so those are connected okay as a it's a nice contrast between the staccato bring out the top note throughout i have a tendency at the bottom of page 16 in the left hand, look at that. At, start at the last line on page 16, left hand. I tend to hang on to that E flat in the left hand. It's not necessarily a staccato, it just kind of goes with the feel of the piece there. If I played a staccato, it would be this. And to me, that isn't that I want to. I want to feel that D flat B flat so I hang on to it and I also hang on to the E flat a little longer that's just how I feel it it's an interpretive thing I put the metronome on 70 I hope that's okay we'll find out no pedal forget the pedal all right so fingers do it all so we're starting out with the right hand here yeah first and second endings so page 16 is going to be played twice Right hand, left hand, third finger on the G, okay? One, two, ready, and...